y'all, it's Kay with Crafting Cousins times two. I hope you're subscribed to our channel, and if not, if you'll click the red subscribe below and then ring that bell when it comes up, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content based on the options you choose. Today is Wednesday. It's time for another Wednesday project. When life gives you lemons, make something sweet. So stick around and we'll make a 4th of July sign to go beside my fireplace. Wednesday project for this week, of course, is a patriotic sign to go next to my fireplace. Well, I have some scrap wood pieces. This wood piece is about five inches wide. I have two of them and 37 and a half inches long. These are some scrap pieces that were cut off some projects that Trisha and I did back last fall. And these were just the ends that they cut off at Home Depot when they cut the size that I needed. Thank goodness I have two of them and they there are the exact same size didn't have to do any cutting I'm going to put a coat of paint on them and we're going to do some letters a little bit different way than I've done them in the past in the past I've used my computer and printed out some letters cut them out and then cut them out of foam board well I don't want to cut these out of foam board this time I'm going to cut them out of some colorful scrapbook paper so they look more like they're painted on the sign so it'll have a more flat texture this time so I have some blue with white stars and these are just ones I pulled out of my stash I would love to be able to shop but we're not allowed to leave just yet if you have uh, any underlying illnesses they don't want you to leave or it's not a good idea so i'm going to wait about another week before i get out of the house so anyway here's the red i'm going to use it's very sparkly i don't know if that shows up well on camera but it's very glittery but it is scrapbook paper i also have this striped diagonal and i think i want to get my letter where i get some white blue and red on it so i'm going to do that also I have this small piece of scrapbook paper that came out of a book. That's the size it came in. I didn't cut it. You can see the little hole at the top. That's how it was in the book. In the book. And I have this blue and white plaid. I guess it's the right word. Or gingham. You can use that word also. So that is the paper I'm going to be making my letters out of. My letters this time, I told you I'm not going to do them the way I always seem to do them. I'm going to cut them with my Cricut. My Cricut is an old Cricut, but it is my favorite one. It is the first one I got probably 10 years ago. It's an, the first expression that came out. So I'm going to use that. I also have some foam stars. I got these on clearance last year at Hobby Lobby. So I have the red, the white, and the blue. And I think these will be cute on my sign. If I use these, I will have to put these on after I decoupage my letters on. I'm going to use Mod Podge to do that. And then I'll use Mod Podge on my entire board because the paint I'm using is flat wall paint from Walmart. It was the only thing I could get. Again, I couldn't go in the store, so I placed an online grocery order. And that's the only paint I could get, so we're going to use it. I also pre-made some bows. I used my Easy Bow Maker and made those. I have a tutorial somewhere in my videos. If you want me to link it below, I will. I am not the best bow maker in the world, but with Easy Bow, it, the name says it all, doesn't it? So that's what we're going to be doing. And my sign is going to say, I Heart USA. So let's move along, paint the board and get started. I'll get those letters cut off screen and come back.
so I have my whole sign laid out so you can see it. Nothing is glued down yet. I'm going to use some of this washi tape and I'm going to carefully tape down my items so that they are evenly spaced. And then I'm going to use Mod Podge and put the items on my board. I had to zoom out quite a bit so you could see the entire thing because it's about 37 and a half inches tall, but this gives you a good idea of the layout. Then, and now I will space them evenly apart. So I have my letters laid out on my board. I have them taped down with some washi tape. I'm just going to use this paintbrush and some Mod Podge and Mod Podge this part down. I've removed the bow, but you may notice I have uh, a nail up in the top and that's how I attach my bow. And then I can always change it out if it gets squished or I don't like it anymore or it fades. So the next thing we're going to do is use a generous amount of Mod Podge put it on the back of each of these and place them down. And then after that, we'll also give the entire board a coat of Mod Podge, the top of the letters and all of the white paint because this is a flat white paint and that'll just help seal it. So let's get started. I put on have been Mod Podged, including the heart at the top because that's also scrapbook paper. I'm going to re-add our bow to the very top. I just have a nail on the board if you remember. The star is actually a foam with glitter on top, so I did not Mod Podge that on. I'm going to add that with some hot glue here, and then probably a couple more embellishments, and then I'll take it in the house, put it by the fireplace, and show you how it looks. So I thought I would give you a close-up look while I have the project in my studio. I'm sorry if the camera shakes a little bit. I've got to hold it by hand so I can get in real close for you. I wanted to show you that I added a few additional elements, just some stars that I had in my collection in my stash. I thought it would just add a little something extra. I made a tiny mistake on my A, so that covered it up nicely. Just another decorative element. And it gives a little more color so you don't have all that white just standing out. So there it is guys, resting to the left side of my fireplace. Hopefully there will be a matching piece soon to the right with a different saying. And I have just started decorating my mantle and around my fireplace for the holidays, Memorial Day, and of course the 4th of July and Flag Day. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. Tomorrow is Trisha's Thursday Trash to Treasure. And on Saturday, of course, we'll have Craft Chat. 
Guys, have a great Mother's Day, and I'll see you next week. Bye!